Tim here with FitSet Ninja. We're about to bring you week one skill workout number two of your online ninja training. If you have any questions about any of the movements, the structure of the practice, make sure to leave your questions in the comments below on YouTube and we'll respond to those questions in warp speed. I'm gonna pass it over to Coach Steven to begin your training. Coach Steven, take it away. Hi guys, welcome to week one, day two for our skill training. Uh, today we're going to be doing our rolling balance and our body props. So you're going to need a few pieces of equipment uh, depending on your skill progression or level. Uh, again, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced. So we're going to need, number one is a PVC pipe or a foam roller, something that you can roll on that's not going to bend or break when you're using it. Second is you need some open space around you. Um, that amount of space is going to change depending on your place, but you do need some space around you. Number three is going to be our beam or bar. Um, you need at least one, if not multiple, um, to help prop yourself up for body props. Uh, and last thing is if you're an advanced level body prop, you're going to be needing uh, a wall space. Beginner level rolling balance. In progression one, we're going to start with our upright stationary hold. What we want to do here is have a slight bend in our knees and our hips, and we want to have our weight on between the balls of our feet and our arch. You're not going to be able to stay completely still. You'll probably have a little bit of a rock forward and backwards, but for the most part, we want to stay on the same spot. We're just trying to get comfortable on the roller. So if you come off, no worries, just hop back on until you're done your 30 to 45 seconds. Beginner level body prop. Progression one is going to be our forward bear crawl. We want to start on the ground, on all fours, so hands and feet, knees off the ground. We want to engage our core, keep our back flat. Our goal should be to move for 30 to 45 seconds without stopping. In progression two, we're going to move down to a down low squat position. I suggest with this progression you use a chair or table or a partner to help you stabilize before you get on. It can be a little tricky to just hop right on right away. Here, get to a comfortable depth where you feel balanced. Again, it's going to be small movements forward and backwards, and you're trying to go for 30 to 45 seconds. Progression two is going to be our backward bear crawl. So similar to the forward, except we're going to lead with our feet this time, and it's going to be harder for us to see. If you're not sure and you don't want to walk into anything or crash into anything, you can look between your legs and spot where you're moving. This progression should be done for 30 to 45 seconds, again, non-stop. In our last progression for beginner level, we're going to do our forward rolling. So now we're going to add some movement, should be a little bit trickier. You don't have to go fast, you can start slow, just one step at a time, but your goal is to try to keep moving forward for again, 30 to 45 seconds. Once you get to one end, you can hop off the roller, reset, get back on. Progression number three is gonna be our side to side bear crawl. This one is gonna be a little bit different. You're moving laterally, so make sure you guys are trying to do equal distance or equal time from moving to the left or moving to the right. Make sure that your hands and your feet are moving at similar distances. If you are uneven or not consistent with those hands and foot placements, you're going to start to spin and pivot. We don't want to do that. Try to keep moving 30 to 45 seconds. Intermediate level rolling balance. In progression one, we're going to do our stationary squats on the roller. Here, we want to be just going down and up on the same spot, so we're not trying to cover any distance. I recommend starting slow and controlled. As you get better, you can start to go a bit faster and go through more range. You're gonna be trying to do this for 30 to 45 seconds. Intermediate level body prop. Progression one, we're gonna do your hands elevated and feet on the ground. Your hands can be propped up on a couch, a wall, chairs, something that you can move side to side on. You wanna be moving back and forth an equal amount of time or distance for 30 to 45 seconds. In progression number two, we're gonna do our 90 degree pivots. 
So shifting your weight from side to side a little bit. If you're turning clockwise, you need to have a little more weight onto the right foot or right, right side of the roller. If you're going counterclockwise, you're gonna go a little more weight to the left. If you're trying to do five to six turns per side. In progression two, we're gonna do hands elevated, but this time our feet are gonna be on a bar or a beam. So you have to be a little more precise and accurate where you're placing your feet there. Again, we're gonna be doing 30 to 45 seconds. Try to keep it equal from side to side. In progression number three, we're gonna be doing our backwards upright rolling. Here it's gonna be a little bit trickier than going forward because you can't see as well where you're moving. Slight bend in that knees, slight bend in the hips is gonna help you keep a little more stable and just small controlled steps to begin with. You're trying to do 30 to 45 seconds. Progression number three is gonna be our feet elevated this time. So they can go against the wall, against um, a couch, and your hands are gonna be on the ground. So they don't have to be quite as precise, but you're now loading a little more weight into your upper body. 30 to 45 seconds and try to keep it equal side to side. Advanced level rolling balance. Progression one, we're gonna be in a squat position on a roller and we're trying to move forward. It's gonna be a little bit different for some of you since I know you're used to being a little more upright or standing on the roller. Um, I suggest starting small steps and you're trying to stay on there without coming off for about 30 to 45 seconds. Advanced level body prop. Progression one is gonna begin with your feet on an elevated surface and your hands on a bar or a beam. You're trying to move side to side for 30 to 45 seconds. Progression two is gonna be our combination of forward rolling and squatting. So you're gonna make maybe one or two steps forward and then squat all the way down and then back up. Follow that pattern continuously until you're done your time of 45 to 60 seconds. In progression number two, we're gonna do our wall walk-ups. So this time we're moving vertically. You're gonna begin at the base of the wall with your hands on the floor and your feet on the floor. Walk your way up so that you are finishing in almost a chest against the wall handstand position. If you can't get right against it, no worries. Just try to get in as close as you can. And then you're gonna walk your way back out and down towards the floor. You're trying to do three to five reps of this. Progression number three is going to be our complete 360 degree turns. So you're just trying to pivot off one corner. If you're turning clockwise, you're going to put a little more weight to the right side. Counterclockwise, a little more weight to the left. We want you guys spinning about five to six reps per direction. Progression number three is you're going to go wall walk up against the wall again. And then you're going to try to go side to side for 30 to 45 seconds. There you have it folks, online skill workout number two is in the books. I hope you had an awesome workout and if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to click that subscribe button on YouTube so you're up to date on all the videos. And if you enjoyed this training, please consider clicking the link in our video description to donate. There are costs and time associated with the production of these videos and anything helps. If you can't donate financially, we would love if you could share this video, add something in the comments, tell your friends about your online ninja training, anything helps and we're committed to providing awesome online training for you during our closure. Have a great day and see you soon.